Hi students, Miss Overly, and I'm looking for hearing a great word, so thanks for coming in your best work today. Today we're going to focus on using the circle graph histograms that you now know how to create to answer questions about data. So let's start by looking at this first example. Alright, so for this first example I want you to look at the pie chart and the title given for this pie chart and think about what type of information is being presented in this graph. Pause the video please and once you've taken 30 seconds to think about it by yourself I want you to turn to your partner and tell your partner what type of information you think is presented in this graph. Then you can play the video to get the answer. Okay, you've had time to think about it. In this graph, we are looking at, um, and if we look at the title, generally that's a good place to start where it says expenditures for state and local governments. Um, the graph tells us what money is being spent on. So the circle is cut into four sections or sectors, and each one represents one of those places um, of expenditures. Um, so we're looking at education, public welfare, highways, and others. Okay, now in this second slide, we're going to look at the same graph, but answer a different question about it. So we're on to your second slide. If the total spending is $50,000, how much money was spent on highways? Well, there's a couple of ways you could solve this. I want you to think about it for a second. Think about how you might start this. All right, the way I would solve a problem like this is think about the fact that when we're focusing on highways, we know that highways are 7%, so that's 7 out of 100 total percent. And if we know that the total spending was $50,000, I know that I can put that in the bottom of my fraction. Oops. And I don't know how much money out of that $50,000 they're going to spend on Highways, so I'm going to put an X there. Do you remember how we solve proportions if we're able to set one up? Turn and tell your neighbor, how do we solve proportions? You can pause the video for a moment. All right, if you said to cross, multiply, and divide, you were correct. And when you do that, you should be getting $3,500. Nice job if that's what you were getting. Excellent. Let's look at our next example. Using the same pie chart and the same total spending amount, $50,000, how much would be spent on education? So this time we're focusing on education. I'm going to set my work up the same way I did the last time, only this time we know that education is 34% of total spending. So that means I'm going to do 34 out of 100 equals x over 50,000. Take a moment, use your calculator to cross, multiply, and divide. get your total answer. Alright, pause the video until everyone's ready with an answer. Okay, you've had time to get your answer. Whoops, and I actually still have my same answer for the last time. Let me change it here. 34% of $50,000 is 18500 Alright, let's look at some more work with charts. Um, we'll look at a different circle graph this time. This time we're looking at your favorite activities um, and in this case there are five different activities that were an option. Um, this was done on a survey of seventh graders. So 
if we were to expand this and um, look at all 900 Richfield Middle School 7th graders, how many will like track the best? So think about how you're going to set this up. See if you can do it and solve and get your answer. Go ahead and pause the video until everyone's ready. All right, so track is 20% of our total students. So we know we're going to do 20 out of 100% equals x over, and this time we're surveying 900 students. Sorry, I'm doing this on my computer at home. And on a laptop, it is hard to write, so I'm sorry that this is not very neat. Doing what I can here. All right, so x over 900. All right, go ahead and cross, multiply, divide, and solve. When you are ready, play the video. Okay, you've had a chance to do it. Are you getting 187th graders? That's where you should be. Let's look at one last circle graph. This time we're going to look at gaming system preferences. So if you take um, the fact that 25 of the people surveyed preferred PlayStation 3, um, that was 25 people, 35 people per preferred the Wii, and 40 people preferred Xbox 360, um, what percent of the people interviewed liked the Xbox 360? Um, talk to your neighbor, pause the video, give this one a shot. All right, so if I add 35 plus 25, that is 40, 50, 60, plus 40 is 100. So I know I have 100 people that were interviewed. And of those 100 people, 35 people, nope, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one, 40 people liked the Xbox 360. So if that's the case, can you find the percent of people that liked the Xbox 360? Well, that is 40%. So if you got 40%, you were correct. All right, for these last couple of examples, we're going to look actually at um, a histogram. All right, so this is on animal weights. How many animals weighed 10 pounds or greater in this survey? So here's the way I'm going to look at this. 10 pounds starts right here. And in this case, um, there were 10 animals that fell in this category um, or greater. So it's, it includes this bar as well, which is 15 animals. And or greater, this idea means anything bigger than that. So it also includes this bar, which looks to me to be 14, one less than 15. So now I need to add those up. So 25, 35, 39 animals weighed 10 pounds or more. What about how many animals laid, weighed less than five pounds? So here's that five pound cutoff less than five pounds is everything over here. So this is the five pound mark. This is the 10 pound mark. And to me, this looks to be kind of halfway between there. So I think eight would be a really good guess. What about how many animals weighed less than eight pounds? Okay, let's see, eight pounds is between five and nine. But unfortunately, it does not break it down into 8 pounds or less. The way this category is set up does not talk about 8 pounds. It's the number is less or greater than that. So we really cannot answer this. So this is one of those questions that cannot be answered. On your assignment tonight, there will be some questions that um, you have to really think about what the histogram talks about. So be thinking about how these categories are set up. Good luck with your work, and I'm excited to see how you do when I um, talk with you more about it tomorrow. These notes will be handed in at the end of the hour, so thank you.